We'll go talk about the week. I mean, I think a, a loss down in Irvine, but a very good team down there. Uh, I, I would assume a good game. You guys had a one zero lead uh, and a good win um, on Saturday. So talk about last week and, and where the team is at today. You know, we had a we had a, a tough uh, match with UC Irvine. I mean, we were disappointed not to come away with at least a point from the match, especially since we had scored first. So we got a nice goal from Patrick Sigler. And we're up 1-0 at halftime, and um, you know, just gave up, gave up uh, two goals on, on you know, really individual mistakes and, and mistakes that uh, you know cost us a game. We played well though. Um, Would have been nice to, to get a point. Uh, we came back well um, on Saturday. We came back very well and had a had a, a good result against Northridge. We scored three goals, and, and David Zamora came up in for us. Um, with that trick. Wasn't at the game on Saturday, but, but I heard that the first half wasn't your best first half. You came back in the second half like gangbusters. What was the difference there? Uh, the, the motivational speech in, in the locker room, perhaps? Yeah, definitely. We had a, we, we didn't come out with the energy that we needed in the first half. And we, you know, we were second best for sure in the North in the first half. They were beating us to the ball. Um, we weren't connecting passes. We were having trouble building out of the back. And in the second half, um, you know, we just had more energy. We, re we required more energy. Uh, David Zamora, you know, as a as a upperclassman, as a captain, really stepped it up. You could see how, how much he stepped up his, his energy level, and and uh, you know, the goals came pretty quick uh, after the first one. You know, we, I think all, all four goals were scored in about six minutes. Uh, we scored three in about six minutes, and they scored one right after that. So, you know, soccer is a crazy game like that sometimes. Last two games at home, three goals apiece, two hat tricks. So we'll expect a hat trick uh, and on Wednesday. You gonna call it tonight, <laughs> today? <laughs> Gosh, well, I would, we would love another hat trick from somebody. Uh, I mean, it, it, obviously the offense has been there at, at home the last couple of uh, events. We've talked about it all year long. Uh, yeah. Just you guys just play get better at the Spanos for whatever reason. Love, we love playing there. You know, it's it's great. You know, it's a it's a tight field. You know, it's it's a you know you can get to the goal quickly. And um, you know, I think everybody, uh, all the guys, are excited to play. Home. You know, we've got great fans and you know, good support. And um, we we'll hope to keep it rolling on Wednesday. Yep. How rare is it? I mean, have you ever in your coaching career had players or hat tricks within a week or two? No, no, it's pretty rare. It's very rare, and especially you know how they did it. They both did them in, in one half. And, and literally in about 20 minutes. So, um, you know, we'll take it. Kind of talk about how big a week this is. I mean, you guys are tied with UCSB for points, still going for that conference title, and, you know, a whole match in the conference tournament. Kind of talk about how important these next two and three games are they are for you. <clears throat> they're huge. They're huge. I mean, you know, all season long we were talking, we got off to the rough start, we got off to an own four start uh, against, you know, top 25 teams on the road. We knew. We put ourselves in a challenging position with that. But the whole goal is obviously to, to prepare ourselves for conference. So we've done well in conference so far. I think we put ourselves in a good position to be one of the four teams in the tournament. The next few games are all about um, becoming top two in the conference so you can host a, a home playoff game. So this, this game on Wednesday night is as important as playing you know, Santa Barbara next week. You know, we really need to get three points uh, this coming Wednesday. So um, that's what it's about, you know, trying to trying to secure points to get a home uh, Big West Conference playoff game. I know that Junior didn't play over the weekend. Will he be available this week if he come out West as well? Uh, both, uh, both Junior and, uh, and West Fainer are day-to-day are -day right now. You know, uh, they got uh, you know, an ankle and a, and a hip flexor. Um, so, uh, you know, we haven't had them the last two games. You know, we're, we're moving on as if we don't have them right now and uh, just trying to get them healthy.